Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be walking through the Dollar General. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It was requested, so I hope that you find some items here that maybe you can find at your local Dollar General as well. So first off, I started down the holiday aisle. Of course, you guys, I can't skip out on that. It's my favorite time of the year. These little gift boxes definitely caught my eye. I thought that the little bow accent was a really nice touch. They were really cute. They had all different sizes. This one actually was more like a chest. This was the smaller size chest. I believe that this one was like five or six dollars, I wanna say, but I thought it was really nice. You can put ornaments in here. You can use it just as decor during the holiday season. This one, yes, this one was six dollars. They also had a larger one next to it, but it was damaged. But I loved how they had the plaid lined on the inside. I just thought that was really nice. You could even wrap a gift in that. Um, and then I wanted to share the wrapping paper. Now these were $3, but they were huge rolls of wrapping paper. They had all different styles, um, so many different ones to choose from. They also had packs of three rolls and those were only $5. I wanna say this one was my favorite. I love how it has like just the recycled paper color in the back. Um, you know, just the tan background. I really like that. Kind of gives you a vintage feel or classic feel to wrapping paper. Um, then moving on, I wanted to just kind of walk through the holiday area and share with you what they had. They had these really cute dinner plates with the gingerbread and presents. This was only $3 for an eight count, which I thought was pretty decent. They had these little matching napkins. And then they had this round set of plates for a dollar. And they also had some napkins in the gingerbread. This was more of a dinner sized napkin. I thought that those looked really cute together. Then they also had packs of gift tissue. These came with 33 sheets and they were only $3. So I thought that that was a pretty good price as well. I saw these really nice Santa sacks. These are perfect if you're going to be traveling on Christmas Day or for Christmas. You can put all of the presents in that sack and carry it to your loved one's homes. It's easily distributed that way, easy to carry and transport. They also had these little gift bags. Now these were like a plasticky fill. I thought that they were kind of interesting the way the texture was. I kind of feel like this would be fun in a junk journal if you guys are junk journalers. They did have several different styles. I really thought this one was cute with the Santa and the sleigh with the reindeer flying over the town. I loved that it was red and white. They also had this choice here. And then they had these felt bags. These are perfect for gift bags because they're a little bit different. They're not your average paper bag. They did have several different kinds. I thought that this one was really cute. They had these little novelty bags. If you wanna put like jewelry in them or if you bought like a smaller present, that would be perfect to go inside of those bags there. I wanna say this had two, no, those only had one bag, I think, maybe two. And then they also had these little mini bags. If you own your own little company and your shipping items, this would be a really nice touch to add during the Christmas season. I loved the plaid one. And then I thought this one was kind of funny for like a gag gift for a stocking stuffer. They also had these two bags for $3. I thought that these were really nice because they were more of a fabric, like a burlap. And then I wanted to share their ribbon with you. These were $2 ribbons. I thought that they were really nice. They were the wider width. So here's some of their ribbon. It's definitely not as large of a selection as the Dollar Tree, but I think that the choices they had were really nice. I like the one with the Christmas trees on it. Here are some of their gift tags. These are only a dollar. So keep in mind that Dollar General is a little bit cheaper than the Dollar Tree with some items. They also had some of these harder boxes. These are perfect for like photo albums or scrapbooks, things like that. Even if you are a crafter, it's kind of nice to store items in there. I saw this two piece PJ set. They were really soft, so super nice. I think they were only like $10, not bad at all. They had a wide selection of different types of coffee cups. I thought that they were pretty cute. They had all different styles as well, different prices for each one. Those are very similar to the ones at the Dollar Tree. 
come with two in a pack. I thought that those were really cute. The little mason. I like how they're kind of like a frosted white. Then they had these little cheese dishes that I thought were really cute for $5. That's not bad at all if you're hosting Christmas or even if you just do stuff like that for fun. Um, just to set out some little snacks and stuff on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. They had these here, the top opens or the lid opens and it has a little spoon. Then they had these little mugs for a dollar, which I thought was a great steal. I loved this mug. I loved the shape of it, the color, the design. I thought it was really pretty and classic, same as this. I'm noticing the same design on the bags as on the mugs. I also really like how these mugs here have like ridges in the actual mug, if you can see that. I thought that those were really simplicit and really cute. Then they have these little treat tins which had the design and the clear lid so you could see what's inside. I thought that those were pretty fun if you like to bake around the holidays and hand them out to neighbors or family. They had these little runners for your table which I thought was a great still for $7. It is made of like a tapestry material. And then they had super cute decor pillows for $8, different shapes, designs. Here we have the gnomes, we have snowmen here, we have a snowflake. I thought that that design was really cute. And then I noticed that they had these two packs of sachets. Now these little ornaments would be fun just to stick as gift tags, you know, on gifts. They had this really cute nutcracker in several different colors. And then this little just decor piece of Santa. He did have a little hanger on him um, if you wanted to hang him up on a doorknob or something like that or on a really large Christmas tree. That would be really cute or a tear tray or maybe one of those pop out windows. Um, they also had these little Santas and these were $3 each as well. Uh oh, I'm dropping things in the store you guys. So they had more ornaments. They had a pretty good selection of ornaments. Not huge, but the things that they did have I thought were pretty nice for a dollar. Now these are made of metal. I thought that these were really pretty. And then the wooden ones. I thought he was really cute, this little deer. And they also had it in this color. That kind of reminds me of a vintage color. If you guys have fun with your little elves in the house, they had these little sleeping bags I thought would be fun if you set up the elves and do little creative things with them. These would be perfect to use as props. These are front yard stakes, which I thought were pretty cool. If you guys like to decorate your front yard, I would definitely grab these. These I believe were only $4. And then they have these battery operated candlesticks. I thought that those were really pretty for $5. Thought it was different. And then they did have a few different choices in wreaths here at the Dollar General. $5 is not bad at all. I want. I don't think I checked the price on that one, but this one here was my favorite. I think it's very beautiful with the different berries and frosted look. That was $15. They had these little tiny nutcrackers. I think these were only a dollar. I like the little drumming nutcracker. I think he's pretty cool. They also had some little wooden signs. These were only a dollar. So these ones here with the metal were $3. Now these little signs were so cute. I really liked those. I liked the one with the black and the red. I think that was my favorite, but these were only $2. I love that the wreath is on them as well. And then they had this little wooden sign. I thought that this would be really cute for maybe a coffee bar or a treat bar or something like that if you had somewhere to hang these. These were really nice. I love how the hot chocolate mug was like a vintage look. And then they also had these round wooden ornaments, which I really liked as well.
Now these wall or door hangings I thought were really nice. They're very simple yet very pretty. Um, I want to say that these were five or eight dollars. And then they had this really cute tree stand which was three dollars. And then they had a Christmas countdown. Look at how cool this is you guys. I could not believe these were only three dollars. So these were the two different designs that they had. I really liked this little galvanized metal tin like milk jug it looks like. And then they had this wooden snowman. He is on a little stand. He was only $3. I thought he was really nice. And also these trees with the wooden and the plaid fabric, they look quality. They look like you would be picking these up from Hobby Lobby. These are a little more simple, but they had different sayings on them. So joy and peace. These were only a dollar, not bad at all, and they also had Mary. I saw these old school candy. My dad loves these candy, so I had to share them here. And then they also had the Kinder Joy chocolates, but it was in the shape of a train. They had these plastic totes with lids. I thought that these would be nice. You could either store things in these for the holiday. You can gift in these so that people can reuse them for just storing some of their holiday decor or ornaments or maybe kids homemade items over the Christmas season. They also had these little holiday leggings. I thought that these were pretty cute. They do feel a little thin, so I'm not sure the quality as far as being able to see through them, but I really liked the black with the gingerbreads. They had these really nice buffalo check towels. One says believe in the black and white, and then they had the Merry Christmas in the red and black. That'd be super cute in a kitchen. I love these little small half mitts for your ovens. They did have different styles and designs. These are little cats. I think I did that a little too fast. I'm sorry, guys. They also had this really pretty metal reindeer for five. And then they had two different scenes of the nativity, which I thought were really nice. Now these glass mugs were out with the Thanksgiving items, but I really think you could use them for Christmas. How pretty are those? Those would be so nice to just have like coffee and cookies or a pastry or something on the table. I just think they're really nice. Then I wanted to share some of the toy items that they have here at the Dollar General. I did find some pretty cool things like this tabletop air hockey for $20. I think that looks pretty fun. That could be entertaining. Then I saw this game, Admit One Name Drop. I thought that that one would be really fun. It's like a trivia game. Down the toy aisle, they had these little Disney Jigglies. I don't know, they're like squishy, but they had a whole different um, collection of them. They had the princess collection. They just had like the Disney character collection. I thought that these were pretty cool. Here's the Winnie the Pooh. I think princesses, maybe they're all just combined, you guys, because I see cars and Finding Nemo there. But here are the different collections on the back. I also saw this Marvel Avengers. These are perfect little gifts or maybe stocking stuffers for some of them. Some of them, the packaging's a little big, but I never really thought to go to Dollar General for some gifts. But you guys, they really had some cool toys that are a little bit different. I like seeing things that you don't see in every store. But here's, these are stretchy and bouncy. Then they had these little washables. You actually take them in the bath. You can color them and just rinse the color off of them and recolor them. So that is a reusable toy. So that's pretty cool. These are little Disney mini bracelet activity surprise kits. So you never know what you're getting. I think these were $5. They also had the princess. And My Little Pony. I think they had quite a few of these. I forgot. I only thought they had two. I also saw Gabby's Dollhouse washables. These are similar to the Spider-Man ones that I shared with you, but these look pretty fun. Again, reusable toys. Those are always great. And then I saw these Kindy Kids minis. I thought that these were pretty cool. I have never seen these before. Let me know if your kids love these, but they had a pretty good selection of different ones here. 
They have this pretty cool necklace activity set. This you build your own necklace with and it comes with five different princesses. They also have the Super Mario characters. This is always fun for someone in your life that loves Mario Brothers or that is a gamer. And those were $6. They also had the toy mini brands. These are super popular. They have Disney ones, food ones, but these are little surprise mini brands. I could not believe that they had Cabbage Patch Kids. You guys, this was $10, super cute. I even had to smell it and it literally smelled like the old school Cabbage Patch Kids did. She's just really cute, only $10. I mean, good for a really young kid as well, maybe two, three, because it's pretty small. They had these Disney Dorables. These have been around for a while, but they are only $8 at the Dollar General, and these are really fun collectibles for your Disney lovers in your home. They did have some playing cards here. This is the Battleship card game. I had never seen that. It's for seven plus. I wanna say this was six or eight dollars. It was 6.50. They also had Uno for eight dollars and Phase 10 for 8.50. If you've never played Phase 10, pick it up. It's a great game. They had these little fidgets called Tangle, Twist, Shape, and Fidget. And they had them in several different colors. This is a fun stocking stuffer. I even love playing with fidgets, you guys. All right, so they also had the card game for Guess Who. This is for five plus. Now down the crafting aisle, I was so surprised on how many crafting supplies they had here. I did not realize the selection would be as large as it was, but I was really happy with what I was seeing. These are different paper packs. They are only single sided, but still you guys, they had the larger 12 by 12 sizes. These were only $5 and they had them in a couple different designs, but I, I really couldn't believe it. I was so excited to see that they had crafting items here. They had these really cool bling rhinestones that you could use for crafting. They had this cutting mat. This was a 12 by 12 and it was only $6. They had these really cool paper clips. They had them, they were larger. So they had the hearts here and then they had the larger paper clip style and those were $2. Then they had this washi tape for $5. They had them in several different packages with different designs. So again, you guys, that's a great deal. They had a stamp set. I wanna say this was $3. I lied, it was five. <laughs> And then they also had these different sets of envelopes and they did have several different sizes here. I'm showing them um, and these were only $3. They had several different tag choices. It wasn't a huge pack of tags, but they were different designs and cuts. I liked that they gave three different choices with colors and they also had these tiny little paper bags, again, perfect for crafting or if you own your own little shop, but these are good for junk journaling. I believe that all of these tags and even the little bags were only a dollar, so cheaper than the Dollar Tree even. I was really surprised actually, really happy. They also had these little adhesive gems. They are smaller packs, but these were also a dollar. Then I found these wood burning specialty tips. These were only $3. I don't know how much they are typically, but I thought $3 was a great deal. They had this huge glue gun for $11. And then they also had these little metal clips. Again, you guys, so many different little choices. These are really fun little alphabet tiles. These were $3.50. And then they also had crafting stencils with different style lettering. This was $4.50. These are just different little paper pads, and these were only $2. 
So I did come across some more toys. These are Fisher Price Little People. These are perfect for your preschoolers, for fun play. You could do sensory bins with these with your kiddos. These were $15 for each pack. And then they had the Pokemon. They're like little blocks, I believe. They had two different designs. This one was $12. This one here is $16. It is a little larger. So I thought that those were nice. And then I had to share this because you guys, I am a sucker for planners and calendars and all things paper. But what really caught my eye was the cover. It was really pretty. So they do have really nice notebooks there. They also have these home financial bill organizers, which I love that I have actually purchased from Dollar General previously um, a few years back, but they did only have two choices on this trip. They have had more in the past. So they did have a little bit of wood options here at the Dollar General. I thought that this one was nice because it was already designed. So your kids can just either color them with markers or color them with paint, watercolor, anything just to keep them busy. They also had these, which are really cute for stocking stuffers. These don't necessarily have to just be for kids either. These can be for adults or teens. That would be something fun for even teens to do. I love how they have like the little easel with it. I think that that's super cute. They have these little doll pins. These are perfect for crafting, especially around Christmas time if you guys like doing your own DIYs. They even had these little embroidery kits. This was the only style I saw there. If you do go by the Dollar General, make sure you guys check out where their coloring books are because they have all different types of workbooks, word searches, puzzle books, coloring books, they have flashcards, all different types of choices here. So just make sure you guys check it out. I did notice that the prices were a little higher than the Dollar Tree with some items, but also lower. For any of my junk journalers watching, this would actually be perfect for a junk journal if you want it interactive. This could definitely be made into one of your signatures. You can put a couple pages into your book and color when you're journaling. Um, that would be kind of fun, but they did have different choices. The Amazing Grace, they have the Everyday Gratitude. They had all different choices to choose from. I thought that this one would be perfect to do like a basket with. You could put this and crayons, probably not crayons, maybe colored pencils. You could do different seed packs, gardening books for any people in your lives that love to garden. This is perfect for your Coca-Cola lovers. You could even do a basket with different style things to put in. You could even do this with like a movie, popcorn, soda, candy. You could turn it into like a movie night basket with this. That would be kind of fun and different. Then I went down the decor aisle. Now, a lot of these items were on clearance or sale, so that is always nice to check out. This does look wood, but it didn't feel like wood. It felt kind of not like plastic, but maybe, I'm not sure. I loved these. Okay, but when I picked them up, I noticed that they were not real pressed flowers. They were stickers, and I was a little disappointed because I was hoping that those were real flowers. I thought that that was so pretty. Um, and then they have these cool little salt and pepper shakers. If you know somebody that just bought their new home or maybe moved out, that'd be perfect um, for Christmas presents. I had to share this, you guys, for any of you homeschooling mamas. This would be perfect to sit at your table with all of your coloring stuff, like coloring crayons, pens, pencils. I loved it. It was messed up or I would have grabbed it. I think it had like scratches all over it, but I thought that that was really cool to have for like morning basket or something with homeschooling. They have this really cute fall festive looking baking set for any bakers in your lives. This would be a cool little basket to put together or just as a gift. I really liked this little serving tray. It's kind of like a charcuterie board, but it was ceramic and I love that it had the two tones to it. I thought that that was really nice. 
70% off, you guys. Never skip out on the sales. Now, these candle holders were so nice. I love the wood with the black. I thought that that was really, really cool. And then they had these initials. It's made out of wood. I thought those were pretty cool and different. These are all really fun even to do as Christmas presents for, like I said, somebody that just bought their home or maybe remodeling. Now this mirror looks so pretty, but when I touched it, it was very flimsy and it kind of felt like plastic. You see it bobbling around there. I thought it was more of a heavy duty wood, but it definitely was not. It tricked me, but it looks really nice if you don't touch it. <laughs> Now, I love these mixing bowls. I love that they are ceramic. I love they have the handle. I love the spout on them. You just mix in there and pour. Perfect for pancakes or waffles, cake mix. Those are really nice quality. I really, really liked those. If I didn't have so many mixing bowls, I would have definitely picked those up. I always look at jars like this because I don't know why, I just love them. They're $8, not bad. I think they're 70% off too. Then I went over and looked at the baskets. They did have a pretty good selection of baskets. I think that these are really nice. I am not huge on baskets because I feel like they collect so much dust and they're so hard to clean. So let me know how you guys clean your wicker baskets. Do you shop vac them? Do you dust them? What do you use to get those things clean? I thought that these were pretty cool. The wire one, those were pretty heavy duty. That's why I didn't lift it out. It was too heavy. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Dollar General walkthrough. Let me know if you did so I can go back there and do more of them instead of just Dollar Tree. But thank you for hanging out. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video, you guys. Be safe and be blessed. Bye.